Are you ready for the fourth and final game, folks? Because it's about to go down. That's right. The players are loaded up in the battle bus. The island is ready for combat. Monster, are you ready? I'm absolutely ready, Golden. People in the crowd, are you ready? Then count it down, folks, because the time for talk is over. This is it. The fourth and final game of the Fortnite Pro-Am is now live, and this is for all the marbles. This is it. We saw what one game can do for these competitors. Typical gamer finding himself in seventh place. He's on the board. So this final game matters. Can Airwalks stick around and hold his lead? Will Typical Gamer come back and follow up, find himself in the top three and, and take a bigger piece for charity here? Or will someone new come up and, and just ruin everyone's dreams and, and <laughs> shut those down, right? Hey, everyone's going to get money for charity at the end of the day. It's all about where you place. It's a very competitive, though, the nature from a lot of our guests, a lot of the people playing with our Fortnite personalities. Uh, download, chatting with a few of them, uh, and, and they, they're they feeling it. They, they know that they want to perform. Golden, there's only one, or I should say one set of trophies here, so that's, that's true. what they want. That's true. It doesn't matter how you feel, it's all about how you play. There you see a few of our players. There's Wax Motif there with Pipe Punk, Janina with Wildcat. That's going to be a snow biome landing for her. And already the eliminations are starting to come through, Monster. Bucky just picked up one, and he's all the way up there in the leaderboard as well. That doesn't reflect well. Airwalks has an elimination too early on. Literally what I was just going to mention, I was like, wow, before everyone even touches down, it's already unfolding in the Fortnite world. Here's Janina. Doesn't quite know where she wants to land. Wildcat took a baller, and he's out. Brendan Yuri just eliminated one shot girl in our final wow. game. Typical gamer pops up behind Janina. Oh, the rage from oh, her. Oh, look at her face. Oh, and you do not want to get her angry. She's, she's. I'll tell you what, she is a, a very, very uh, a passionate gamer, as you can see right there. She takes it seriously. I respect that. Definitely saw the spice coming out there, but it is OK. It's not over. Wildcat is still in the game. Typical, man. He had a great last game. That right there is a big point. That's a, that's a shift. Yeah, all of our top 10 players, I would say, uh, most of our top 10 players have, already, have already gotten elimination monsters. So, so early on, there's Jimmy O. Yang there. I'm a typical gamer. And I hear someone just yelling in the distance. I, I don't know who that, that is, but I do hear it as well. Someone please check that, check that person. Make sure that they're okay. Call their mother. Call their father. It's Father's Day. Let them know what's going on. It's the energy coming all the way across and into our headset, but it's all good here. We're over at the Lonely Lodge. It's not so, so lonely. He's got, he's got some company. His teammates yeah. here. Yeah, you know, you never want to go on a nice camping trip by yourself. That's not fun. Bring a friend or two as we <laughs> hop over to Bruce Brown. And no, full of gore gets taken out with a big shot. It's loser fruit. This is a rough kit for Bruce Brown to have. Can Joel McHale get an elimination? Joel's like, look at me. I will shoot. He's hitting those angles hard. Oh, oh. He's looking for it. Uh, uh, oh. And he's out of bullets here, Golden. He's got to, he's just got to push with this pistol. He's got 16 shots in it. 16. No, that's your teammate. Don't want to do that one. Shoot them all. Shoot them all. That's your target. Joe McHale, I believe in you. I want community to come back too. Pull out the axe. He doesn't know he doesn't have bullets. He has no more ammo, no ammo remaining. Oh, but it's okay. Because this teammate loser fruit connects with the flint knock and takes down that player right there. Bruce Brown sent back to lobby, and it's all good, because you know what? Joe has loser fruit too. Joe McHale to carry. was there. He was providing emotional support. Loser fruit, obviously. Great player. Won yesterday in our uh, creative showdown. So Joe McHale just being the, the, the cheerleader Joel. that we all want to have in game with us. Joe's like, loser fruit, you're doing too good at this. I'm going to shoot your ramps out, give you a little more pressure, you know, even up the playing field. Kind of <laughs> shot Bell did not go for that boombo. Yeah, I guess it's just time to get out of here, man. You got a little bit of mobility and stuff like that. He wants to take all these shields. Ooh, living life on the edge. I like this. it, I like it. Avoiding all the fire here. This is actually our first zone that we see covering this side of the map. So also really good to see in our final game things are going to mix up here in the, the land I should say we got Cray along with a vibe Cray with a, a, a loadout that ooh, you want to you want to try and keep that 
that uh, the long range weapon there. That's right. So you got to go back to that because you need to have that that utility. You need to have something that will give you you know an advantage in that in that mid game, right? Oh yeah. But we're looking at Jacob. There's so many players here in Happy Hamlet. This is not a happy place. Their shots being traded. His teammates in a weird spot. Is he gonna come down and back him up? Doesn't matter. Connor Ball is playing ball here. He's, he's, he's got no builds. The run. He's got no builds, but his teammate Jacob has his back, and that was gonna be Royalistic and Xavier Woods. They're out of it. Oh man. The power of positivity was not enough to help Xavier Woods on this day. Yeah, but you know what? They had a grand entrance, and that is all that matters. That's true. Because they showed up. <laughs> I mean, you do, Monster, you kind of do want to win, you know. Or, or you know. Or you just have an entrance. <laughs> or at least or get your entrance, you know. Make the show yours at the start. Make That's us true. All, That's true. I'll believe for a second there. <laughs> okay. So you are now with Murda Beats. Beats. No eliminations for this team. We're going to be at Snobby Shores, and they have another duo here. And there you have it, Samara Redway and Marisha Ray. They're going to be topped up as well on health. Good shields there this for is, Samara. This is the best part about being able to see the whole game. You get to touch base with all of your favorite players, right? Samara Redway, our soccer skin moms here. Yeah. All right. The, the Actually, involved. they came out strong representing. I did tell them I love I love the shirts. I wanted to get one for myself. Yes. Even though I'm not a soccer skin mom and I, and I can never be. But still, a boy can dream. You can do whatever you put your mind to, Gilden, right? Thank you so much. And, and a couple of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get that shirt. You know, I think it'll be hilarious. Uh, so the storm now pushing in. We're going to be coming down to our first circle. Some action had taken place here, but we got 44 duos, six duos wiped out from the lobby. There's Dr. Lupo with Jordan Fisher and yet again. It's already looking like a different game here. So much more players alive now. As Lupo's trying to see if he can scoop up some of this loot here. He is, he's gonna successfully get a ton. Jordan Fisher's off in the distance though. Looks like they ran off some players here, so yeah. it's all theirs to kind of Hold down now. Yeah, they're going to own this territory. Is there anyone above them? It doesn't seem like it. Got a lot of action happening over here. Scarlet against Cypher PK. Just like, was wondering where the action was taking place. Seems like it's taking place outside in the storm. Cypher down. Not a lot of HP remaining. There's no Siphon here either, so he just has to get the oh, elimination. 5-4. No. This is not the way you want it to end, but oh no! And he can't get the Elim, and he's going to be out of there. Down, but not out. Could Reggie Jackson help him out? He's by the high ground. Scarlet down low, and here comes Reggie Jackson. Really focused on the player in front of him, but not the one that's going to be dealing the damage, potentially, but Reggie Jackson could not get the angle. Does manage to tag and drops on out of there. Getting ticked by the storm. You see his health, the green bar going down little by little. That means when they're out here in the storm, you see the way that this looks around you. That means that they are going to be taking damage, and they're in this very dangerous spot. He actually got the elimination, though. That means the storm wrapped him up, and Reggie was rewarded with Scarlet right there. But let's take a replay of what happened here in these moments. Reggie Jackson has everything. That's the knock right there on Ellie. And, and he did get Scarlet, too, so something connected there because those shots made a big difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was going to be two eliminations. That could bring him up a little higher. And then Chandler Riggs, oh no, he's gonna be so low on HP. Chandler Riggs needs to be careful, he's out of it. Now it's a cow. Looking around him, can he get to him? Can he try and help him out there? The baller, he's got a low health this time around, but Chandler Riggs is gonna be inside of that storm flip and a cow is gonna get picked off by Tifu. Tifu still in this one, folks. He's got one elimination. He did participate in that little battle there. He knocked Chandler Riggs off the high ground. Josh Hart, not quite sure where he is. Oh, he's over in the distance, making a nice little rotation. It's gonna be a lot of loop for them, but Bucky. Oh. JT Brown here. He's got a flint knock connect to the face from Bucky. It's gonna delete frags right there. Bucky. He's, he's in third place, Golden. Yeah, he is. And at this point in time, not looking the Ooh. best when it oh, comes no. to the. Oh, no! Bucky! Through. He threw oh. it all the way. That is a rough one. You hate to see it. That's what we call a good old-fashioned ouch. A yikes, almost. 
That's a oof. That's and an oofers. Yikes and ouch. <laughs> That's all, all the different kinds of words that can symbolize a variety of things. All Bucky, that. though. Put into a body slam sandwich because he was thrown right off that build. He's had a good, good competition so uh, so far, and while for Bucky it will end there, the run that he managed to put together, game after game, is certainly something that you got to be impressed with. There's Reggie Jackson. Oh man, this is a best friend right here. Wow. In the storm, remember you had three med kits. So Cypher's back in the action, guys, and he even dropped all his guns for Cypher. Look, he's like, hey, take all the guns, brother. What a guy. What a guy, what a good guy, you know, really, you, got, you, you want one of those people on your side. I'm going to say it right now, Cypher, you drop all those guns and give them back to Reggie because he clutched up, <laughs> okay, yeah. he clutched up. He helped you out there. Now, I did understand that Courage was eliminated earlier on. We saw him in defeat. I believe we're going to have a replay of that showing up in uh, just a tad. And uh, that was a, uh, you know, not the, not the run that Courage had, placing second last year in the Pro-Am. Not like that's gonna be the case this time around. The laser beam gets beamed in the sky, and that's gonna be Joey Bosa with the connection there. Big day so far for these oh, guys. No. Who, whoa! Running snipe on Connor Ball. Jacob's gonna have to see if he can really clutch up this save here because they're in a weird spot with the drop ship just above them. They can drop down and pounce at any moment now. So this is gonna be a really tough revive to pull off. Love what. Jacob is doing here, switch materials, says, you know what, I cannot save you. Yeah. The zone is coming, I gotta get out of here. Nikki 30 and Joey Bosa up above, and he's gonna go for the fight. That combat shoddy will pick what? you up from, what is up, what, is what was that? Jeez, there's a sky bridge up there. What, what is that? <laughs> Nick's looking up with a big smile on his face, like, are you serious? Okay, sure, I'm okay. I mean, is, who if, is it? If I, could, if I could hear those comms right now, I totally would, because Nick's probably tripping. Look here, Courage. Oh, Courage was brought back. He was eliminated earlier, but brought back in the game by the respawn ban. Look at him there. I knew he'd find it. Brennan Yuri, by the way. What a guy. You know, bringing his teammate back, right? You gotta, you gotta show love to these celebs, man. They're picking up what's supposed to be the, their pro help. Yeah, Brennan Yuri has the elimination. What about you, Jack? Yeah, what happened, Cypher? Reggie saved you, man. <laughs> <laughs> All in good fun, of course, Nick at 30. He's going to have a player right in front of him. Managed to bring him down there. Has that wall ownership and gets the down. Snags that on the combat. No, another one's going to go in there for the fight as well. Has that wall coverage. Playing defense. He needs Joey Bosa to help him out. And there you have it. Nick Merckx falls down to that one, courtesy of Nick at 30 and Joey Bosa. What great teamwork. Nick just holds down the wall, waits for Joey to back him up, and... Kudos to Joey, came in at the perfect time. The distraction, the counter edit, that was a great team play right there. And this is why you gotta show love to both team members because at the end of the day, this is a team game. We have duo action here. Pokey Main and Martin Doherty still alive. Give themselves a little spot. Martin Doherty, hey, uh, as you see right there, part of the group churches here today. Not necessarily uh, playing some music, but instead playing some Fortnite. Now, I wanted to know what the absurdity of that sky bridge was, and our observers managed to get a look at it. So let's see. So, watch out, he's above. What is doing a sky base, dude? <laughs> oh my god, no <laughs> way. We'll get the sky base after. Oh my there's gonna god. Be, there's going to be kids that are low behind us. Okay. <laughs> and I Joey Bosa, by Joey. the way. Joey Bosa's not having any of that, by the way. He said, Nick, get your head in the game here, Nick. What are you doing? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Skybridge is two and everything. Uh, focus on the people that are going to be behind us. Oh, Marin already is going to go down. Pokemon now having to deal with some players that will be on the attack. It's going to be Cloak, actually. Put the pressure on the Pokemane with that grenade launcher. Owns that wall. Tries to get above him. Pushes forward. Tags him for some shields there, but no, Pokemane. Oh. And it's Tifu who Ow. comes out of nowhere like an RKO. And Cloak is right there, too. How did Tifu show up and snatch that one away? Tifu's everywhere. I don't know if you know that, but he's actually like, he is the island. He is just there. Yeah. He has his little Jonesy army that just goes and does his bidding. Oh, look, look, look. He's sliding on up now in this ball. He doesn't even have a teammate anymore. Josh Hart's down. He's going to get all this loot here. He's got four eliminations, so just from that little bit of third party off in the distance, he's going to pick him up 
some more points. Tifu's in the running here, guys. He's still in the running. He's in top 10. I believe he was fifth last time we checked in. He's got a lot of goodies to work with, too. We'll, we'll keep tabs on him, I'm sure, as this goes on. For now, though, we're taking a look at some of our other competitors here. And, ah, you, you know, and everyone here had a collective groan at that moment. That, that You know that that is rough. Koa, get in there. No, Koa. Oh, no. Oh, and Do, uh, Do Hyun had the rift to go. He's going to be able to get, get out. He's going to be able to get him. Two yeah, HP. So close. No, don't go in there. Okay. Woo. Oh, man. Oh, I, I, I'm old. I can't handle that. I can't handle that monster. That's just too much for me. I got to touch base with them down in the player lounge. These guys look like they were definite best friends. They are going to showcase that. He's going for the save. What a good power. Right there he is. They're going to pick up Koa. Such a clutch go. save. Such a clutch save. Two HP in a dream, folks. Round of applause for Dohyeon and Koa. Then he got Tim the Tap Man there. Oh, oh yeah, because he, he knows he's on camera. Yeah, Tim, I see you. <laughs> no eliminations, though, for the leader of the Girthquake. The Tap Man army. Fortunately for him, he's going to be met with an army's worth of ammo from all angles. He's trying to defend everything. Turbo building like a crazy person, but Shadow Bomb's out of there. Bro, who did you get mad? Jeez, hello, server. Way to turn on uh, Tim the Tapman for a second there. Got Airwalks mad, clearly. Oh, it's just all that dancing. He just did it again, dude. Airwalks might have to come down and show you what's up. That is definitely something you do not want to have happen. Airwalks has been vicious this whole game. Getting down now to the final few circles here. Storm phase is about to end in, in just a little bit, under a minute. You got 23 duos left in this game, 34 players remaining. Airwalks and Arl Grime up above. Chris Thompson gets the hands from Tifu with four eliminations he has currently. I said we were going to come back and check oh him out my. and thank ups. Try again next time. Tifu got the better of you. To think Tifu can take on. Full duo squad, like duo teams right here. By himself, he is a force to be reckoned with. Pushing players' boxes with that RPG, but Brennan Yuri and Kurt still in the game here. Ooh. The sticker comes down. Brennan's got no shield. He's got no shield. He has no minis to be able to top him off with either. 77 HP. Courage isn't looking that great either. Has more shields than HP in his case. We gotta share. There you go. Good Brennan thing. Uri will be able to get something, something that will keep him going longer in this game. He did drop a couple minis right there, but Courage, man, it's looking so rough right here. It's, you know those opponents had stinkers, so being in the ultimate low is a weird place to be. Brennan just knowing all these kind of builds down. He's lost Courage for a second here. It's, hey, you know what? Use it, don't lose it, right? I'm, I'm very impressed with Brendan Yuri too. Did not expect this out of him. Clearly been putting in that work. Courage said that they've been in the lab working perfecting their gameplay. Let's see if it pays off here, because when you're in that low ground, that's where all that training, that's where it's going to pay off, Monster. Yes, all the edits. Edits down Courage right there a little bit. It's all good. Back up another layer, and they have zone, actually, so they're going to be okay if they could just hold put. That placement point could just be around the corner. It's only 30 players remaining, 21 duos, so there's a lot of solo players out there. It's a big rotation to make. Blink power takes out RL Grime, which means Airwalks is left to fend for himself here in the final moments. And also this zone by the hill, so players need to go up in order for them to remain in the safety area. Got Wildcat, who lost, lost his duo partner, uh, Janina, earlier on in the game. Still in it. Kayun got Lost Kings there. One of the members of Lost Kings, at the very least. I believe this is uh, going to be Nick. Yeah, Nick on the, on the Lost Kings as well. All right, but Kayun making a nice little home for himself. Nick is still in this game, too. Yep. Nick Shanholz. Hurling up here, trying to find opportunity, making these edits, replacing these walls, trying to get comfortable here. And we're getting down to the wire, folks. Top 15 are going to start to get points. Tifu, for an update, has seven eliminations. Nick A30 has five eliminations. Kurt Benkert had five eliminations. Airwalks with four. And there you see the breakdown. The Victory Royale will give you 10 points total. But you start earning points when you hit 15th place. So keep an eye on that 
as well as each elimination giving you one. Cypher PK got a player right in his sights, but there's going to be threats coming from all different angles here. He needs to just back up, disengage from the fight, and look to take down that one player that you know is going to be in a rough spot, but that circle moving for that individual's favor. Down the mountain you go. Sliding down now because this zone's way ahead and he has no more material, so instead of going for the Elam, he's getting all the way down and lucky for oh, him. That worked out. What a great care package. That was so much loot right there. That worked out beautifully. That. Reggie Jackson gets down by Ninja. There's Tifu up above, gliding about. He sees a player in front of him, owns the pyramid, but the pressure from the left side now has to refocus. He has all of this. He owns all of this. Oh, no, but the player's going to be right in front of him. Edit's out. Had to get out of there. And Tifu couldn't end the shots in time. He couldn't connect with the shots enough to get the elimination. It's actually Cloak who is in that box right there, but Cloak manages to get away just barely. It's fate, Monster. It is fate that these two players would only land next to one another at that point in time. Tifu said it. If he finds Cloak, he's going to push him. And take a look at the air cam right here. This is what you guys tune in for. Nick 30 Tifu still in the game. We so know many players are going down. Just somewhere out there as well. Cloak went down to Joey Bossa. Joey Bossa, ladies and gentlemen, this guy is a beast. He's got the high ground too, I believe. Yes, Joey and Nick might be the only duo still in this game oh, right no. here. You gotta be careful. Sad's gonna have his number. He gets to the other side. Oh, he's gonna go down. Nick 30 he's also gonna be an attack. Oh, oh no. no, he took the fall there. there. Oh, gut-wrenching there. Now we're gonna be in top 10. Aiden on the high ground. Tifu as well. Putting down some shots. He is a legendary loadout for the ages. Nine players remaining, Monster. It's coming down to the wire here in the final game, folks. Every man for themselves. Symphony's got the ultimate high. Bell's in the ball. They're trying to get this high ground. Airwalk's still in this game as well, as is Tifu. Symphony's holding his high ground so well. This is like a worst nightmare for these players. It's, it's a going, mountain. And it's going back around the mountain. Symphony's up above. Tifu feeling the pressure there. Airwalk so gets the connection and elimination on the Dothion. Now looking for another one. Oh, he's going to eat a shot there, and Airwalk's down to 17 HP. Needs to stabilize. No oh. more, no more health, and oh, man, that was a little bit of that squeaky bum time there that you don't want to see. Is he going to even hit that tree? Is he going to hit that tree? <gasps> oh, dear. Boy, this is it. He's got nothing. Lucky for him, there's a little blink right there. He's still in this game. He's got nothing. He, he can slide down this. Oh, no, he's just going to go all the way, playing at the safe route. Using these materials. The tension. The tension, folks. This is what Fortnite is all about in these final few moments. Let's hear it. Let's start to make some noise because it's coming down to the wire. The final game of the Pro-Am. You're going to have Symphony in the high ground, Aiden right in the mid, as well as Bell, and then Airwalks. And Aiden, six Elims total. A player in front of him, but he doesn't have, an he doesn't have the HP here, Monster. Oh, this is so close. Whoever's in that baller is making it really tough, but it's a 1v1. He actually got the elimination on Airwalks. Must have disappeared. Oh, no. This is it. Final moments, Golden Boy. This is it right here, the 1v1. It's going to be Aiden going up against Symphony. Can Aiden come up clutch and get the win? And it will secure him such a high placing in the leaderboard. He has a high ground presently. Symphony looking for the opening, but I don't think Aiden's going to give it to him. He's got 53 builds left. He has tons to work with, as well as that combat shoddy and the drum gun. Symphony, no builds remaining for him either. And Symphony has to go down low. Aiden's waiting for it. He may not even even need whoa he jumps on top of the box he's looking for the opportunity this is it monster he sees him he sees him right down low and he's gonna go for it continuing to hold this one down the storm pushing forward forcing the activity oh! Oh! symphony symphony with the victory royale right at the last moment we love to see it with I love all it. odds, with all odds against them. Symphony turns that game around, no materials, takes down Aiden. Aiden trying to go for the highlight reel. Fortnite is all about the building, and Symphony had no build, but Aiden, oh man, that was a rough one. He destroyed the structure, sent Aiden down low, and before Aiden could even attempt to catch himself, Symphony had the eye on the prize, and there you have it. A big win for Symphony, a veteran in the Fortnite community. What an end there, Monster. What an end. That he hit the shot, man.
I love this because every single game, someone else took a victory. Aiden was almost the only person to get a back-to-back. -back. That's right, folks. And don't go anywhere because we're going to have the trophy ceremony for who won. And I'll tell you, I don't know who it is right now. We're going to have to find out in a little bit, get close. the leaderboards up, and then we will confirm who is the winner of the second Pro-Am. Oh, man. That was... That was a game right there. That was, that was a game, folks. Now, you guys are incredible. What a crowd we have here in the forum. You guys are amazing. Now, throughout the day, we've been talking about these crazy animated shorts that we've been seeing, talking about the, uh, the lore of yes. Fortnite, if you will. And here's another one. Take a look. Insano Death Squad Unite. Let's do this. Ready for vengeance. We will claim our destiny. Hello. What? I thought we talked about this. Talked about what? Your outfit, man. It's just not screaming Insano Death Squad. You're crazy. This is the best. We're trying to be intimidating here. I am a fish, walking on land, breathing the air. That is intimidating. No. Go change. Are you serious? Go change or you're off the squad. Fine. I'm so tired of this. It's like he's not taking this seriously. He gets one more chance. Behold, the mullet marauder. Uh, now what? I'm out. I just can't even. 